Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, June 25th. And you can see outside my window here at 6.30 this morning, a very nice start to the day. And we're going to have a great day out there with lots of sunshine and comfortable temperatures in the 70s. But we'll have a chance of thunderstorms moving into the area tomorrow and tomorrow night. And some of those could be on the strong to maybe severe side. And we could see some locally very heavy rainfall with any of these storms that develop. And I think most areas will pick up at least a decent amount of rainfall and again, we'll continue to monitor the opportunities for some of those storms to become severe. And boy, do we have some hot weather coming for the end of the week. By Thursday, we'll be well into the 80s, and I think we'll be well into the 90s for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. In fact, Saturday, we can see temperatures between 95 to 100 degrees. So very, very hot weather coming as we get towards the end of the week. And we've been talking about that for a while now. You can see uh, yesterday, the state high was 79 at Kalamazoo, the state low 44 at Marquette. Our normal highs are in the low 80s, the normal low is 56, and again, yesterday we had a comfortable high of 73 and a low of 55. As far as the growing degree days, you can see by locations uh, this year compared to the previous years, and on a graphical format, you can see how we're uh, doing quite well for the uh, year of 2018. As far as individual locations, the nicer to look at uh, how we fared out in 2018, 17, and 16 at each of the locations. And again, the uh, higher growing degree days across southeast lower Michigan, like Blissfield, Jasper, and Lansing. As far as the uh, moisture out there, you can see uh, overall 93.75, so not too bad on moisture as well here for the months of May and June. And again, we'll continue to see opportunities for rainfall this week, and then we're going to really pile up a lot of growing degree days here uh, over the next couple of weeks. As far as the weekend rainfall, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, anywhere from uh, 1.62 inches of Brown City to nothing recorded at Lansing. And again, several areas picking up well over a half inch to an inch of rain or more across uh, portions of the area. This morning, you see temperatures mainly in the low to mid 50s. The warm spot, though, at uh, Jasper at 59 degrees, Brown City with a cool spot at 51.4. On the satellite view, you can see the powerful thunderstorms across uh, portions of Kansas into Oklahoma, bringing a, a, a bowl line of uh, storms with lots of wind damage across that area, and thunderstorms developing this morning across uh, portions of southwest Nebraska, and they'll spreading to the northeast. There won't be any uh, thunderstorms around this area until tomorrow. These will weaken. More will develop this afternoon. They'll weaken overnight, and then I think uh, tomorrow, possibly as early as the morning, but more likely during the afternoon, We'll see an area of thunderstorms develop off to our southwest in Illinois, Wisconsin, and move into the uh, state here as we go through the day, and especially for the evening and the nighttime hours tomorrow. As far as the radar this morning, you can see those powerful line of thunderstorms that moved uh, across the Kansas and Oklahoma, bringing severe weather there, and thunderstorms across the Ohio Valley down into Kentucky. Again, we'll wait another day before our storms will begin to develop and move into the area. Again, some of it could bring some heavy rainfall. You can see some of the heavier rainfall and severe weather expected out in the Corn Belt today with this low pressure system. That'll move to the uh, northeast here over the next several days. And by tomorrow, this will be for tomorrow night, especially some of the heavier rains could move into southwest lower Michigan and spread into much of the rest of the area overnight. And again, I think the best chance of severe weather will be uh, off our southwest uh, during the heating of the day. When these storms move in here uh, at their peak, they'll be in the uh, nighttime hours, not the best time to pick up severe storms. So that's good news, but we may get quite a bit of rain as those storms weaken and we uh, see a pretty steady rainfall from those leftover powerful storms. As far as how much precipitation, you can see most areas a half inch to an inch. We can see locally heavier amounts uh, in cross uh, southwest lower Michigan. As far as weather watch this morning, Great Lakes are quite clear, only some beach hazards uh, near the western end of Lake Superior, and then flood watches and warnings off to our southwest in portions of Corn Belt, and they're going to get quite a bit more rain here over the next couple of days. As far as our forecast goes, you can see our warming trend, highs in the upper 70s to low 80s into Wednesday, and then the heat moves in after that thunderstorm complex moves through the area. We'll be well into the upper 80s for Thursday, in the low 90s for Friday and Saturday. Right now, it looks like we can see temperatures between 95 and 100 degrees for a very, very hot day. Likely to see heat advisories possibly on uh, Friday, but certainly for Saturday and probably Sunday as well as we climb back up into the uh, low 90s again on Sunday. So at least uh, three days of very hot weather coming towards the end of the week in the weekend. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great work week, and 73s to all.